right, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. Once again, outstanding guests. These are individuals that have contributed so much to the county. Welcome, Sarita Lee. Thank you. The Register of Wills and also Sheriff Michael Jackson. Now, these two individuals here have contributed so much to Prince George. I'm going to let you talk about them. I'm going to let you talk <laughs> about it. Okay? okay? Sarita, tell us uh, about how you got involved in it, and, and we want to center it around one of the major things, and that's Wills. You know, a lot of people get in a lot of trouble uh, because of that. And you've done such a terrific job since you've been in office. Tell us about it. Absolutely. You know, my office is the office that handles estates when someone passes away. And from personal experience, I know how important it is to have a will. So my main goal is to reach out to the citizens of Prince George's County. And I do that with a slideshow presentation, letting the citizens know how important it is to have a will and what to expect when you come to my office to open up an estate and just how the process works. You won't believe how difficult it is when someone is grieving and then they Tell find out it. these things. Um, I always Create enemies too. <laughs> yes, I always <laughs> emphasize the fact if you want someone to have something, you must make it legal, put it in writing. I'm sure, not your family, Mr. Brown, mm. but so many families, when there's money involved or property involved, Lots of disagreements. Families That's wake everything. up. That's everything. It's yes. not that property is one thing, you know, like uh, uh, Aunt Susie wanted me to have that antique dresser, you know. Uh, Absolutely. Or Uncle John, you know. So, uh, what happens, you'd be surprised how the problems that causes if it's not in writing. Absolutely. So I highly encourage that. And that is my goal is to try and reach all the citizens of this county. And I average about 70 presentations per year. And in addition to that, we do about 50 information booths throughout the county at community events. And wh where is your location? A lot of people. We're located at the courthouse in Upper Marlboro on Main Street. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people, you know, you were at one address before, you know. They, yes, uh, we were at the Chrysler Building, there. yes. Okay, Sheriff Michael Jackson. How are you? All right, how are you doing? I'm doing great, doing great. Great. Uh, tell us, you know, a lot of things occur around in Prince George County, and one of the things that people uh, want to know more about, and it's on everybody's mind, that's foreclosures. You know, you get involved. That's, a, that's <laughs> not a, a, a pleasant job, right. but uh, the way that it happens, and give them some advice after you tell the people the different things that you've achieved as sheriff of Prince George County. Well, th thank you, Mr. Brown. I I've been sheriff since 2002. Uh, we are a, an award-winning officer of the sheriff. Uh, in the Mid-Atlantic region, we established the first 24-7 domestic violence unit. We're nationally recognized. Uh, we're actually in congressional record. The, uh, the uh, Congressional Victims Caucus has placed my name in congressional record for that, for that uh, uh, initiative. Uh, we just won national recognition for our school for our for our school resource deputy program as well. Uh, our deputies came back from the national uh, conference. Uh, we are now nationally recognized for that, uh, and we're also nationally recognized for the third time uh, with our Explorer program, which is uh, 14 to 20 year olds. Uh, they brought back uh, the first place again this year. Um, so we're very proud of those initiatives. It ties in everything I believe in our young people uh, because I think they need to be. Uh, it's up to all of us to ensure that they're on the right path. So we bring 14 to 20 year olds into our agency uh, and make them a part of our agency and see law enforcement from the inside rather than what they read in the paper and yeah. hear on the streets. Uh, secondly, uh, we partner with our young people in our school system, which is vital to ensure, that, vital. To ensure that we mentor and guide them along the way. Uh, and with respect to domestic violence, uh, you know, um, crime is a, is a terrible thing, but most crime is derived from um, uh, social ills. And domestic violence is like a cancer mm -hmm. that plagues communities. Uh, and so our goal has been to step out of the original mandate of what a sheriff's office does and address the issues that uh, will provide the ultimate services for our citizens in our county to build a quality, quality uh, 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 a style of living here in Prince George's County. So we've become a service agency more than a law enforcement agency, so we're very proud of that. Uh, and lastly, we've, uh, we're very proud of our uh, uh, foundation. Uh, we created a foundation in April of 2003. 
that foundation has helped our young people get into college. So families, Excellent. we partner with the families in the Very community. Good. We partner with nonprofits, faith-based communities, as well as private sectors, uh, community members uh, to afford our young people and families an opportunity to send their young people to college. Uh, and we also take care of our more mature population, which is great uh, right. for us to help them, uh, particularly on tough economic times. Uh, and, uh, uh, and we have adopted uh, roughly four elementary schools in the county. We make sure our young people who don't have supplies for school or uniforms don't feel different than any other young person. We make sure they have what they need as well as a Christmas um, uh, and any other thing that they may need. So it's important for us to be more ser service oriented than, mm -hmm. than uh, law enforcement. Uh, so that's, that's excellent. Uh, Sarita, uh, tell us some of the things that you propose <coughs> in the coming years uh, for the register of will that you're working on, you know, that, that uh, you really think is going to be important for the next, your next term. One of the things I um, will continue to do is community outreach to influence and encourage um, citizens to file their will in my office. We have a vault there that is fireproof and waterproof. What, and what was that? A vault. A vault. Fireproof and waterproof uh -huh. where you can keep your will there for only $5, which mm -hmm. is not a bad price. Is that right? And I highly mm -hmm. encourage that. It's not mandatory, but I highly encourage that because so many times um, someone will come to my office and they say, well, we had a safe deposit box. All right. We can't find the key. And then mm. once they <laughs> go to the bank, then sometimes their will is not even there. So if it's in my office, then family member can come in and say, we know it's filed here, and then it starts to process. And that's one of the things. One of the things I've done since I've been in the office is I now have um, Spanish brochures. Oh. And I believe in exceptional customer service. Mm -hmm. So I have started every first Saturday of the month since um, May of 07. I have 8 a.m. to 12 noon Saturday hours. And Saturday then, hours? Yes. It's every unheard first Saturday. of. Yes. That's fantastic. I believe in. Because most people, that's when they get things done. Exactly. On Saturdays. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I've started that, and then on Wednesdays we're open until 5 mm -hmm. to help the citizens because sometimes it's a hardship to get to my office, especially if you work downtown right. and um, you can't get there on time. So that was well-received, well-received. That's excellent. So that's what we have to look forward to uh, in these coming years there. Okay. Uh, Michael, tell us something uh, that you'd like to bring, some of the ideas that you'd like to bring to uh, Prince George's County uh, in the office of uh, executive uh, county thank, executive. Thank, thank you for saying that. Uh, mm -hmm. well, I look forward to being the next county executive here in Prince George's mm -hmm. County. Mm -hmm. And and I'll uh, I'll start with something we started in the office of the sheriff, the domestic violence unit. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Mr. Brown, I think um, while we have been able to create a, a, a nationally recognized unit, uh, there's still more work to be done. Mm -hmm. uh, domestic violence has been treated. Uh, we have brought it to the forefront, but it's being treated as a project. Uh, my goal as county executive is to make sure that that, that uh, service is funded, taking it from a project to a service, mm -hmm. because it is so vital to uh, the quality of life of, of any community in our country. You know, empires don't crumble from without, empires crumble from within. <laughs> social ills kill. Right. Right. Exactly. Uh, and, and, and crimes derive from social ills. So uh, my commitment is that as county executive, I'll make sure that the office of the sheriff has the funding to ensure that that becomes a service, not no longer a project. Uh, but, uh, you know, as county executive, I, I, I um, look forward to instituting what, what I call the three E's, mm -hmm. education, uh, a strong economic base and alternative energy. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that are going to push Prince George's County forward. Every uh, prosperous community begins with a well-educated society, uh, a society that knows, each and every individual knows that they have an opportunity to be whomever and whatever they want to be. Uh, we're going to make sure that we work very closely with the school system to ensure that our That's young what I people was going to ask you about. What about the young people, getting them involved in uh, your uh, 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 office there, you know, like junior uh, firemen or junior, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, those, those type of things and give the kids uh, exposure to how government works. Absolutely. Most go youngsters do not know how government works. Yeah, well, I think it's vital that we, we ensure that our young people are exposed to career opportunities. It doesn't matter what the career is, whether mm -hmm. it's being an accountant or public safety mm -hmm. uh, or, or um, 
or uh, you know an IT executive or whatever mm -hmm. and you know we work with the school system have our businesses the government included work with our school system to incorporate uh, within the elective pro within mm -hmm. the electives uh, opportunities for our young people to gain exposure. Secondly, economic development. I mean, we have great. Now, that's that was the you read my mind. That's what <laughs> I was going to ask you about <laughs> economic development. Absolutely. Because when you talk about that, you talk about future jobs. Absolutely. Well, that's the second E of the three E's: education, yeah. <laughs> economic development, then alternative energy. Well, e economic development. You know, you get the businesses. Uh, you know, we have. True capacity. A lot of people think of capacity as building something large, or mm -hmm. you know, it's capacity is is working together, holding hands, supporting one another, and we can do that by having the government be a part of it, not not necessarily controlling it, be a part of it, and we all work together to ensure that the capacity we build for the businesses that are already here, we don't want to look over them to bring in new people first. We want to make sure we enhance the businesses that we have here, partner with them to ensure that they can gain the monetary. Uh, support they need, the credit, tax credit that they need uh, to ensure that they can create jobs, which will in turn uh, spark our uh, uh, economy, uh, create jobs for our young people, and, and partner with our young people in the schools, create internships so our young people, when they go to school, they want to come back, creating the workforce of tomorrow. Uh, here in Prince George's County. And from there, you know, something that we haven't touched on too much here in Prince George's County, but we want to create the uh, the atmosphere of Prince George's County being the hub for alternative energy in this region. We're Great. ripe for it. We, we have, we have uh, uh, rural land, uh, like, like where I live down in Brandywine, mm -hmm. that's, that's ripe for solar and wind energy. Right. Uh, we have older buildings here in Prince George's County, including our school Renovation. buildings, which are, which are mm -hmm. very costly mm -hmm. uh, to, to uh, uh, keep the utilities up in that mm -hmm. building. So, you know, cool roofs mm -hmm. to keep the building cool or solar panels or whatever, and oh. at the same time creating more jobs, yeah. creating a green economy, creating green collar jobs as they call them, yeah. and have our young people engage in it. Everything goes back to education. You're right. Three E's, exactly. education, economic development, alternative energy, in any order, they all tie in together. You need to be educated in okay. order to be able to do it, all and right. it creates an economy for us. And okay, we just about out of time, but uh, <laughs> Sarita, could you uh, tell us those hours again, because I think it's very important that uh, they realize uh, that you're available on Saturday. You know, uh, maybe some of them missed that, but Again, that's, um, yeah. every first Saturday I have um, what I call first Saturday, and mm -hmm. the hours are from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Mm -hmm. And if it just so happens to fall on a holiday weekend, then we're open on the second Saturday. Mm -hmm. okay. And on Wednesdays, we're open until 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. And this and is something I started em in Emphasize Oakland. that uh, box. That uh, the value box, the vault, the vault, the vault, yes. fireproof and waterproof. Yeah. And you, you, can you heard keep it your here on Ed Brown. Go out and get you one now because <laughs> see that's imp that's no, very important. File it in my office where the vault is fireproof and waterproof for only five dollars for safekeeping. Okay. That way the family doesn't have to worry about where it is or don't have to worry about finding that key for the safe deposit box. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, parting remark from Sheriff. Well, uh, Mr. Brown, thank you very Three much. Three seconds. <laughs> Three seconds. <laughs> All right, well, look, I, uh, I am uh, born and raised here in Prince George's County. look forward to uh, being a part of the leadership and the leader of the county moving it forward uh, to make sure that we are creating a community that people want to live here, stay here, and our young people can thrive here. Okay. Right, thank you. Thank you very much. And I tell you, in the second half here, we're going to talk about your health. So you better uh, stay right there. But right now, I'd like to thank uh, both of you, uh, thank the you. job that you've thank done, you very much. that you've Appreciate done for Prince George County, and what you're thinking about in the future, because we need this type of thinking. All thank right? You, thank you very much. See you in a second. Welcome back to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. We have an outstanding young man here from the health department, Dr. Donald Shield. He's the health officer for Gorgeous Prince George's. W welcome aboard, Thank Dr. Thank you for having me Shiel. I think, uh, I mean, this, this, this is going to be that's your second time, but remember we set up, it's going to be a quarterly thing because health is yes. important for everybody. It is and, and you're doing a terrific job. 